Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. In this lesson, we'll see how to compare unlike fractions and what the least common multiple is. All right, so before I tell you what unlike fractions are, let me first tell you what like fractions are. So like fractions are fractions that have the same denominator. For example, one-fifth and two-fifth. So one-fifth and two-fifth are like fractions because they have the same denominator, which is five, right? And if you are given a pizza, say you have a pizza like that, and you are asked to mark these two fractions in the pizza, then you know that you have to cut the pizza into five slices because the denominator says five. So you cut up the pizza into five slices, and you know how to mark one-fifth and two-fifth. So you can mark one-fifth here. This is your one-fifth. And if you are asked to mark two-fifth, then you know that two-fifth is two slices of the five slices. But on the other hand, if you have unlike fractions, which means the denominators are different, so unlike fractions such as this, one third and one fourth, the denominators in both these fractions are different, three and four, so then how do you know how many slices to cut up the pizza into? So if you have a pizza, okay, if you have a pizza like this, then one of the fractions says, cut me up into three pieces. The other one says, cut me up into four pieces because the denominators are different. So then how do you know how many pieces to cut up the pizza into three or four or more? And if more, then how many? So what we're going to do in this lesson is find out how many pieces to cut up the pizza into. All right, so let's move on to that. So what I'm going to do is clear all this and get me a new slate. Okay, so let me take these fractions again, which are one third and one fourth and let me put them on pizzas actually why don't I use lasagnas because lasagnas are much easier to cut so I'm going to use lasagnas all right so here is my lasagna and let me first use two lasagnas okay let me use two lasagnas instead of one so I'm gonna copy this and make an exact same lasagna over here. So what I have now is two lasagnas and I am going to mark one third on one of them and one fourth on the other one. So let's mark one third on the first lasagna. So since we have one third, that must mean that we cut the lasagna into three slices. So let's cut the lasagna horizontally like that and mark one third on it. So one third is one of these long slices. and and the next lasagna, we'll have to cut into four equal slices, right? Four equal size slices because the fraction says, the denominator says one fourth. So the total number of slices must be four. Okay, so these are four slices and the fraction one fourth is this guy here. Okay, so let's say that uh, we had these two guys, say Garfield and Garfield got one third of the lasagna while OD, he got one fourth of the lasagna. Okay, so it's easy when you have two lasagnas and you have to mark two unlike fractions, but what if you have only a single lasagna? So what if you have only a single lasagna such as this and you have to mark both one third and one fourth on it? Then how many slices should we cut up the lasagna into? Well, if you have only one lasagna and you want to mark both one third and one fourth on it, then what you must do is you must convert these unlike fractions to like fractions. So what that means is that you have to convert the denominators of both these fractions, which are three and four, to like fractions. So they have a common denominator, common denominator, which means the same denominator. So you must convert these fractions, one third and one fourth, so they have the same denominator. And one method of doing that is to take both these denominators and multiply them. So when you multiply them, what you get is 12. So you change the denominators of these two fractions, one third and one fourth, to 12. Now what that means on the lasagna is you had made three horizontal cuts, right? In the first lasagna, you had made three horizontal cuts. So you make those three cuts again. And then on the second lasagna, you had made four vertical cuts. So you go ahead and you make those four vertical cuts as well. What actually you did here is you first cut the lasagna three times and then you cut the already cut lasagna four times so all together you got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve so you got twelve pieces which is three times four 
but how do you put this yellow portion on this lasagna here and this pink portion on this lasagna here well what you want to do now is take these two unlike fractions one third and one fourth and convert them to like fractions and i'll show you how you do that okay so uh, let's go back to our third lasagna and uh, we know that we cut the lasagna into 12 pieces right so what that must mean is that if you put it on fraction then that must mean that the fractional or the denominator of the fraction is equal to 12 right which is why you cut the lasagna into 12 pieces so the denominator becomes 12 but now we have to convert one third so that its denominator is 12. now how do you convert 3 to 12 well to convert 3 to 12 what you do is you actually multiplied by 4 right so if you multiply 3 by 4 you get 12 now we said in the previous lesson that whatever operation you do on the denominator you must also do on the numerator whether it's multiplication or division so then you multiply the numerator also by 4 and what you get here well you get 1 times 4 which is 4 now how do you represent 4 out of 12 on this lasagna that's pretty straightforward you just mark these 4 rectangles here these four rectangles and these four rectangles is your fraction 4 12 and this 4 12 we know is equivalent to one third so that's your one third of the lasagna so that's your all these four slices together is your one third of the lasagna which is the same as this portion here on the first lasagna so this yellow portion on top is the same as this yellow portion on the bottom this this yellow portion on the bottom has been divided a more number of times but the size is still the same if you combine these four little rectangles they are still equal to this one long uh, piece of lasagna now how about Odie's portion of the lasagna how do you put that on this uh, this third lasagna here well for that what you do is you take this fraction one fourth okay one fourth is Odie's fraction and you know you have to convert it so that the denominator is 12 so how do you get 4 from 12 to get 4 from 12 you must multiply 4 by 3 so you multiply 4 by 3 and what you get is 12 now you must do the same operation on the numerator so you multiply 1 by 3 and what you get is 3 so this tells you that Odie's portion of the lasagna on this third lasagna is 3 rectangles so 1 2 and 3 and that's Odie's portion of the lasagna so there you go what you did was you converted these two unlike fractions 1 third and 1 fourth to like fractions which were 4 12 and 3 12 and now since these like fractions have the same denominator which is 12 it becomes pretty straightforward to represent these on a single lasagna so all these small little yellow rectangles together when combined they represent Garfield's portion of the lasagna and these three pink rectangles combined they represent Odie's portion of the lasagna okay so that's one method of converting unlike fractions to like fractions what you do is you take the denominators and you multiply them but is this the best method of converting unlike fractions to like fractions what if you have two fractions like one sixth and one fourth so you have these two unlike fractions one sixth and one fourth and using the multiplication method what you would do is what you would get is six times four is 24 so then you would have to cut up the lasagna into 24 slices now 24 is too many so is this the best method or is there another method which is uh, even better well i'll talk about that in the next part of this lesson in which i'll tell you about the least common multiple okay so watch that video to find out about the least common multiple until then why don't you go and do some practice exercises because practice makes perfect so for practice exercises for worksheets and to find out how well you're doing in math go to www.homecampus.com.sg this is m signing off for now bye bye